Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com, and today we're taking a quick look at listening to and installing the Next Step Performance Axleback Exhaust fitting all 05 to 09 V6 Mustangs. You should be checking this out if you're looking for a great daily driver aggressive axleback exhaust without picking up a full catback and spending a little bit more money. As you just heard from our sound clips, this guy is going to give you a much deeper tone than the factory muffler, which by the way was very traditional. It's very muffled. It's not going to give you that aggressive sound you want out of a muscle car. Now, granted, you'll never make a V6 sound like a V8, especially not with an axleback, but you can deepen up the tone and get a little bit more aggression out of it. And that's exactly what this axleback accomplishes. I'm giving this three out of five on our loudness meter because it is a little bit more volume. I will say there is a good amount of drone inside the cabin, but if you want to hear your exhaust inside and out of the vehicle, this is a great way to go. Super deep tones, a little bit of backfire on idle revving, and it's something that gets even louder at wide open throttle. At wide open throttle, it actually diminished some of that drone, and it's really a lot of the exterior sound that you're gonna get. On typical street driving, red light to red light, you will hear that a bit inside the cabin. Just something to keep in mind. Now this one's made of a full 304 stainless steel. It bolts right up to where the factory muffler bolted up so you don't have to cut anything. The 304 is gonna be the highest quality materials in the category you can get. 409 is gonna be the middle of the road and aluminized as some of the more cheaper options. This one's on the premium side of things, but at a pretty budget friendly cost. It comes in right around 250 bucks and what you get is basically what you see here. The muffler itself, hangers welded to the sides there and a new clamp to get it installed. Now at the end here, coming out the rear, there's a big appearance change. This one has a four inch double walled slash cut tip, also in a 304 polished stainless steel. Now the polished stainless steel is gonna hold up over time. It's got that really mirror-like shine reflection on it. Compare that to the factory one, which we will do later on in the video, it's a whole lot of an upgrade right there alone. The rest of the muffler here is that bullet style, which gives you the sound you heard earlier on. Now the install, I'm giving it two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. There's no cutting or anything like that. It's just a little bit more involved than say a cold air intake, for example. We did have to make a slight modification to one of the hangers, just bending it a bit to make sure our tip lined up in the cutout there on our factory bumper. But other than that, it is pretty straight forward. You're just going to reuse all the factory hanger isolators on the frame. With that said, it'll take you about an hour, maybe two from start to finish, depending on your personal experience. Simple hand tools will do the trick. What do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include an impact gun, extension, quarter inch ratchet, 13 millimeter short, deep, and swivel sockets are recommended to make life easier, 15 millimeter deep socket, a hanger removal tool, and PB blaster or something similar. First step I'm going to focus on is disconnecting the hanger from the frame. Now these hanger brackets and isolators are bolted up in a couple of different spots at the front by your tip and the rear here by where it connects to the rest of the cat back. Now what I'm gonna do is take my 13 millimeter socket and get this bolt off and there's one more up there we'll have to switch over to a ratchet for. I'm using my impact gun at first. All right, now the next one is straight up so you have to kind of tuck your hand up here. It can be a little bit difficult to see but you can easily get on it with a ratchet. Next, I'm gonna to try to use my hanger removal tool to pop the hanger out of the isolator on the other side of the muffler. All right. It's easy when you use PB Blaster or something similar to lubricate it. It should pop right out just like this. Then you can just guide the hanger off of the isolator. All right, next on the opposite side of the frame here, we have one more bracket with the isolator attached to the frame. There's one 13 millimeter bolt. I'm actually gonna use my impact gun and a 13 swivel socket to get this one off. Next, we can loosen up the clamp holding the factory axle back to the rest of the exhaust. Grab a 15 socket and loosen this up. Okay, so let's try to disconnect those pipes. All right, so now that we have the muffler at least mostly off, we can reach this 13 millimeter bolt here on the remaining uh, isolator on the frame. safely bring it down and disconnect. 
set your factory muffler aside. So we got our factory muffler off of our 05 V6 and it's on the table here next to our Next Step Performance axle back. Now I wanna go through some similarities and differences very quickly here. Visually, there's a whole lot to talk about when it comes to the differences. Your factory muffler is so much bigger. It's very traditional. It's not gonna give you the sound you wanna hear out of a muscle car. Now I know it's a V6, but we can still make it sound a lot better than it does right now. This factory muffler not only doesn't sound very good, but with that tip there, if you can even call that a tip, it doesn't look very good at all. This new muffler from Next Deck Performance is gonna be a bullet style muffler. It's a whole lot slimmer. It's got little baffling on the inside, so it's gonna open up some of that sound profile there. Again, not gonna sound like a V8, but it is gonna beef up the aggression of the V6. The big notable difference here is gonna be the tip. This factory thing is just basically bare metal cut at a slash. Now, this guy is gonna be a double walled slash cut four inch tip. Now that's a 304 stainless steel head to toe from tip to end, so it's gonna be one of the higher quality materials and the polished finish is gonna hold up over time and it's just gonna look a whole lot more appealing at the rear end. Now it's not a stealthy tip like some of the black powder coated options, but it's gonna blend in really well with the exterior appearance of the 05 to 09 body style. The chrome is very traditional. It's gonna stand out a lot more than the factory one and overall it's just gonna be a lot better of an appearance look at the rear end. One small difference here between this one and the factory one is how it attaches. There are only two hangers on your new muffler. There were three hanger points at the old muffler, one at the pipe connecting to the rest of the exhaust, one on the back side and the front side of the muffler itself. Now we're only gonna do one on each side. This hanger over here is no longer gonna be in use, so it makes it a little bit easier to install. What we're gonna have to do is transfer over these brackets. If you took it off in the same method that I did, transfer the brackets over to their appropriate hangers, front and back, and then we can install it. All right, so the way you're taking off the factory hanger is the same way you wanna put it right on the new hanger. You wanna make sure that it's going on in the same orientation so it hooks up the same way. We can let that drop down. Same thing over here, slide that guy off and make sure it's the same on your new one. I'm gonna hit this with some PB Blaster just to make it easier to slide on. All right, hit it from PB Blaster from the front there. Just put a little bit on the back. It'll help things slide on, lubricate that rubber. See that loosened up real good and it slides on. Now we can get to the install. All right, so make sure you have your clamp included in the kit on the pipe side. We're gonna slide that right into the factory exhaust pipe, line that guy up. All right, so with the pipe inserted, you wanna make sure that's lined up. Bring over this hanger and I'm just gonna screw this in by hand. That's gonna help hold this guy in place. Now put all the bolts back into the hanger isolators on the frame and then we'll tighten them down. All right, right on the other side here, I'm gonna put this factory bolt back through as well. All right, grab your 13 and start tightening down these bolts. And now at this point, just quickly to explain what we did here, I had to bend this hanger just a tad toward our driver's side just because the hanger itself wasn't aligned completely properly. So we had to make alterations to make it fit at the rear. So I just bent that a little bit, just stick a wrench on that and just pull it back. Once you have that taken care of, I have this bolt taken through. Just gonna tighten that down with our 13 socket. Because we had to bend this, the top bracket will no longer connect to the frame, but that's okay. It's definitely secure as you can see here, and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the Next Step Performance Axleback Exhaust available for the 05 to 09 V6 Mustang. Get yours right here at AmericanMuscle.com.